So the Avon Grid operating companies are essential, uh, essential part of the regional transmission grid, especially in New England, where each company is responsible for their share of transmission that is really an attribute or a part of the system that works for all of New England. So for Avon Grid, um, that infrastructure in Maine and Connecticut is essential for the operation of the grid in all of New England. So Maine is part of the New England transmission system managed by ISO New England down in Massachusetts. The high voltage transmission lines are really the backbone of the New England grid. The STATCOM service light technology is like an insurance policy. It really provides stable voltage during very heavy demand periods. A lot of changes are going on in the regional uh, energy mix and makeup. We see more and more renewables as part of the mix. As we have that happen, it's important that we've got a well-functioning transmission system that can allow the power to flow from the sources to where the load is. And so this is why it's really important that we keep making the investments necessary into the transmission system so that customers can enjoy the cleanest, most reliable power without any uh, interference or uh, constraints along the way. So this STATCOM service light technology is really uh, a state of the art for our system. It allows us to build in protection for our transmission system without the need to build new transmission line. It monitors the system in a very short amount of time and when it impacts uh, any type of voltage issues it reacts very quickly. The lessons learned from the various successes and challenges on this project can be applied to all the projects in the Projects Group portfolio. This project was built in the middle of a major energized CMP substation. Every outage to tie in the new equipment needed to be carefully managed and coordinated so not to provide any disruptions to CMP customers or the transmission system. On top of that, the team needed to deal with winter conditions and weather events and the project team did it. The project was completed on time and under budget. So I would just say that I really appreciate the hard work and the role that the team internally here, along with our external resource as well, has done what it's taken to be able to deliver this project. The projects group, the engineering team, the construction delivery people, all have come together to be able to produce what is really an exciting project that keeps us on the leading edge of what the energy needs are for tomorrow.